You know, we all do weird and quirky things from time to time. It's Brook and Jubal in the morning. Things that nobody ever sees. Like dancing by yourself while eating old pizza over the kitchen sink. Mm. Or using a bathroom at a friend's house and then taking all their Oxycontin. What? Yeah. <laughs> quirky and weird. Wow. And then there's the quirky thing that I do every Wednesday night. I get cozy in my bed and I do the old cricket leg rub. Where I put my legs together high in the air and rub them and chirp for a few seconds like a cricket until I fall asleep. Oh my it's God. really relaxing. You should try it. I really it. want to try it. Out of all the weird and quirky things, though, there's one thing I absolutely don't want people to know about, and that's when I participate in this segment called Care or Don't Care. It's embarrassing, and I just want to get it over as soon as possible. Oh, okay. So it's time for Care or Don't Care. Young Jeffrey, take it away. Okay. I have a list of exciting buzz-related topics in my hand. Let's get right to it with your first headline. This may be the worst oopsie moment of all time. Care or don't care? Oh, care. care. Yeah, yeah, I, I like oopsies. those. Oopsie. A 37-year-old man in England recently went into the hospital to have a routine procedure known as a cytoscopy. Basically, that's a bladder inspection. So they put their patient in scrubs, got him under anesthesia, and brought the doctor in for the examination, and that's where everything went horribly wrong. Because unfortunately, due to a paperwork mix-up, the, oh. doxers, the doctors accidentally performed a circumcision oh. on the patient. Oh. Ow. Oh, whoopsie. Yep. Whoopsie. Is that what you call them and say? Didn't Sorry about that. that off. Yep. And when the man woke up from oh. anesthesia, he was outraged and began yelling at all the doctors and nurses in the nearby area, demanding that they reverse the surgery. Wow. I don't think they can. He wants the sleeve put back on? Yeah. Huh. You just like stitch it there? Maybe. I don't know. It's I'm possible. A Medicine has come a really far away this yeah. day. The, hos <laughs> the hospital's director of safety and risk issued a statement saying, quote, we remain deeply and genuinely sorry to the patient involved and have personally apologized. Wow. We hope he can forgive us for this small mix-up. Uh, <laughs> small mix-up. No burn. Way. Yeah, right? <laughs> way to take a dig at him yeah. right there. Yeah, come on. Anyway, the patient is expected to file a lawsuit against the hospital Good. and win in a landslide. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Your next headline, the event of a lifetime canceled because of stupidity. Care or don't care? Ooh, there's oh, there's a lot of clickbait words in that yeah, sentence. I, I, I care. I'll care board, I it. care. I don't care. Oh. Got two of them. <laughs> Earlier this year, NASA made history when they announced their plan to have the first ever all female oh, spacewalk. This makes oh, me yeah. I am so upset oh, by this. Yeah. Astronauts Anne McLean and Christina Koch were supposed to walk together outside the International Space Station. However, NASA has been forced to cancel their plans for the all female spacewalk due to, and I'm not joking, a lack of spacesuits that fit women astronauts. What? How they could make they more? Not plan this like isn't that part of the plan like hey for months we've been waiting for this spacewalk oh my gosh both Anne and christina required medium-sized female space suits and there's currently only one of those aboard the space station oh my is, god i mean it's just such a state of women in the world right now no but it gets better so <laughs> instead metaphor instead now a male astronaut will have to accompany each woman out on two separate spacewalks so dumb. <laughs> Hillary... a company Hillary Clinton was one of the Dude, many this is people. Not funny. Hillary Clinton was one of the many people who was looking forward to the historic mission, and oh, she man. even took to Twitter to voice her disappointment at NASA, saying, "Quote: Make another suit." Yeah, yeah. I wouldn't yeah. think it'd be that hard. I don't get it. <laughs> They're like, we would, right. but we know how you chicks are with sizes. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, we don't want to offend you by maybe making it a little too small or yeah. something. Then you want to get it That's... tailored, and yeah. then you know. I mean, come Women on, what kind of so colors demanding. are you gonna want it? Yeah, it's not designer. Yeah, don't sorry complain. about yeah. that. Way to make little girls everywhere feel like they can do anything as long as the Ben prepared a suit for them. Well, you should be larger. Yeah. Sorry. Let's we'll see if you guys care about this one. Maybe the one vacation spot that's guaranteed to give you a happy ending and a happy beginning. Uh, care or don't care? I care only because I'm curious if I could take the kids with me or not. I, I care, yeah. <laughs> well, vacations are supposed to be the time that we relax, unplug, and recharge our batteries, but most of the time, people come back from a trip feeling more exhausted than before. Yeah. That's because we try and cram in as many activities as we can just so we can have more photos to post on our social media. Well, the country of Finland wants to help because they just announced a brand new program called rent a -Fin. <laughs> That's where you can rent a local Finnish person to be your happiness guide. Oh. And they teach stressed out Americans how to actually enjoy their vacation time. Hey. That is genius. 
<laughs> Each happiness guide takes you on a private adventure to some of their favorite tourist spots around the country, and they'll show you things like how to breathe when you're feeling overwhelmed, oh. <laughs> how to be courteous to other travelers. They'll even tell you when to stop taking selfies and encourage you to put down your phone <laughs> and just enjoy the damn experience. <laughs> Oh God, they're going to be so frustrated if Americans come for this program. Yeah. They're going to give it up. Well, they've just been named the happiest country in the world two years running, so they feel like they're really experts on the subject. It costs $200 per day to rent a happiness guide, but currently there's only eight Finnish people in the program, so you have to book your rent a fin early okay. if you want to get in on I that. I wouldn't want to do it because they'd be so happy and just you'd come back from vacation and be like, oh. I want to go back there. I would, yeah. I, I yeah. you, like, you, you realize how sad your existence is hanging out with them. You'd make the happiness guys quit. Yeah, you <laughs> yeah. Like, They're depressed. Yeah. They're like, I can't do it anymore. <laughs> Let's go to your next headline. A four-year-old's birthday party goes hilariously wrong. Care or don't care? <laughs> I care. Care. <laughs> Well, four-year-old T.J. Burns was celebrating his birthday with friends and family in the backyard of his house when suddenly the party was interrupted by some unexpected guests. It was the Chicago Police Task Force. Oh, oh, no. Reports say officers raided the four-year-old's <gasps> birthday with guns drawn, what? broke down the front door, and smashed the birthday cake. Oh, oh my God. Jerks, why the <laughs> cake? Is this like something funny that the parents play because the kid likes... <laughs> Playing police officer? Scared well, yeah. <laughs> apparently they were searching for a suspect in a j criminal drug case. The problem is the suspect had not lived at that particular <gasps> house in over five years. Oh, no. After the party was ruined, they offered no apology and just what? left. But the family says they now plan to file a federal civil rights lawsuit against Good. the police department, and they're hoping TJ's fifth birthday party will go much smoother. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. No one will forget his fourth birthday, that's for sure. And finally, Jeff's joke of the day. Care or don't care? Care. No, don't care. <laughs> Why did the stadium get hot after the game? Why? Because all of the fans left. Oh. <laughs> That was care, don't care. Text in at 78592. Do you know a story out there that we should have cared about? Text it in. All right, your phone tap's coming up right after this. It's Brooke and Jubal in the morning.